Greetings, Cyber Dogs! This is Ren Dog coming at you from the newly gas proofed entrance to the Gold Nugget Farm in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. In the previous episode, I was busy building the anti gas cobblestone walls of the Pigman Spawner, and I've, now you can see I have completed that task and I've slabified all the light slits throughout the entire mob spawner and as you can see guys it is looking freaking sweet the reason that i've slabified fight it of course is because this mob spawner gets super stinky man seriously damn it is full of dead pig giblets all over the show and damn it is stinky up in here man we needed some ventilation i mean the nether doesn't smell too good itself but i mean the smell of the nether is way better than the smell of dead pig men man let me tell you guys um, but as you can see guys this pigman pigman spawner is working beautifully we got pigmen falling from the sky it's rain and pigs hallelujah it's rain and pigs yeah baby and uh, we've already got a whole bunch of gold nuggets i've been doing some testing and um, you can see i've got a, a few levels up on the last episode and that's because um some pigmen are managing to survive the fall and i've had to kill their asses um, but I've also guys spent a lot of time just going round and round the original design of the track and it wasn't working very well What was happening is the pigmen were falling through the gap and then landing in the space between the rails Which at that point in the previous design was three or four blocks now What was happening is the the loot would be on this block here on this row and I would be traveling on this row But I would be too far away from the loot to collect it so we were actually not picking up the nuggets or picking up the stuff that the pigmen dropped. So what I had to do was change the railway line configuration. As you can see, uh, the rails are now spaced only one row apart. And now it is working beautifully. Wherever a pigman falls, he dies. And wherever a gold nugget or his flesh lands, I eventually pick it up in my minecart. The other major improvement to this build... Oh, there's a, there's a freaking uh, magma cube over there. Yeah, that's another one of the big problems is that um, these magma cubes actually do make it into the, the spawner somehow. I think they fall in and they don't actually take fall damage. So um, that's a bit of a problem, to be honest. I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that. But so far in my testing, they haven't really been a problem. They haven't attacked me at all. So uh, that at least is a good thing. You can already see there's a, you know, just starting this episode, we've already got four gold nuggets up in our bellies, which is sweet. Um, but guys, the biggest improvement that I've made to the Gold Nugget Farm is I've added, I spoke about it in the previous episode, I have added a second layer of spawning pads to the spawner. Um, you can see here's the top one and there's the bottom one. I'm not going to stay here too long because there's a freaking ghast up in here trying to kill us. Oh god. And it looks like he's done some damage to our freaking spawner butthole ghast. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. But I hope you guys got a view of what I did there. I, um, I actually added another layer of spawning pad to the mob spawner itself. So, hopefully, um, we have doubled the rate um, of spawnage. Looks like the, the gas just blew up a hole there. Doesn't look like he's taken out any of the trap doors, which is the most important thing. Um, but guys, what I want to do in this episode, now that I've taken you on a tour of the new Nugget Farm, is I actually want to sit in a cart and go around this thing for 10 minutes and see what happens, man. I want to see how many nuggets we can get in 10 minutes, and then that'll give us a general idea, an estimated idea of how many nuggets we can get in one hour, and then we can work out how many gold bricks we can actually make in one hour, and how long we're going to have to sit AFK in this mob trap to be able to build the Granny Dog Monument, baby! Um, and of course, this mob trap is also going to allow us to make um, golden apples, which are also obviously really important when it comes to curing our villagers to populate Mole City eventually, guys. So this mob spawner is actually going to be doing a lot for us, man. And I cannot wait um, to just go idle on this thing and see how much we can actually get out of it. I think if all goes well today, this evening, when I'm having dinner with my girlfriend, I'm just going to leave this thing running. Um, I'm going to go AFK for a couple hours and see how many gold nuggets we can pick up. And in the next video, I will show you guys how many freaking nuggets we picked up overnight. But guys, um, on the other side of this kaplooey, we're going to kick into fast forward mode, see how many nuggets we can get in 10 minutes. And uh, um, I will see you on the other side of this very bacony kaplam. Kaplam!
right, sub. Dog and dogs, we are back and we have a freaking <laughs> magma cube infestation up in our spawner. But the good news is we have collected 27 gold nuggets in 10 minutes. That means we can get approximately 162 gold nuggets in an hour. And if we divide that by nine, that will equal 18 gold ingots an hour which will equal equal two golden blocks an hour so that is not bad going i think we could probably improve on those spawn rates as you can see a couple of these piggies have also survived the fall not entirely sure how but um they're going to eat it now um <laughs> become bacon bastards Buy him. take it man he, he's taken freaking two arrows to the face already man it's time to bring our fang bam <laughs> damn, did he, he got his ass freaking smacked there, man, damn. Um, but anyway, guys, this spawner has been working really great, so we're going to get an average of two gold blocks an hour so far in the current configuration. I think that that is pretty reasonable. I would like to double that if possible. Um, I'm not sure if that is possible to double. I, I, for example, if we added two more sp uh, spawning pads, will that actually double our money or, or not? Um, that's really what I want to find out. And um, I'm not, I, I mean, I don't think we're going to do any more work on this on camera. Maybe we'll do another episode later on. But I think for now, guys, we can call this a done deal. Um, this project has been absolutely epic. Thank you to everybody who helped me out with some calculations, with some really excellent hints and tips. Um, I'm really happy with how this mob spawner has turned out. And, um, you know, this bacon making factory is a beautiful thing to behold, man. It, it rains pigs all over the show and we're able to collect about two gold bricks an hour so far. So tonight when um, I'm having dinner, I'm just going to leave this thing on, on for about two or three hours. And in the next episode, guys, I will show you exactly how many nuggets we were able to collect in a few hours um, of AFKing on this bad boy. And man, I am so excited to see what happens. Maybe we'll die. Maybe we won't. Who knows, man? Um, but it's going to be sweet. So what I want to do, guys, because I actually haven't seen what a gold brick looks like yet. Why don't we make, um, try and make a gold brick? I think we still have a few gold um, ingots left in this chest here. So let's see how many gold ingots can we make from this 10 minutes of um, mining so we can make sort of three gold ingots i think we've got a few oh we still have, we've got some gold nuggets from the the last test session also so why don't we try and make a few more ingots and make a gold brick and see exactly what a gold brick looks like man um i think what we're going to do is use that gold brick for our our <laughs> our next gravestone because we actually died making this spawner so i'm going to use the gold brick to commemorate that death um Right, let's have a look, guys. What does a gold brick look like? Oh my god, that looks so epic. Oh, that looks so sweet. Check it out, man. Bam! Oh, man, I love it. It looks absolutely perfect. Um, too bad that's going to go on our gravestone. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to take... I've already taken most of my valuables back to the mole hole, but I want to get this gold block back. I want to get the ingots back and the magma cream back, as well as, of course, all of our, um, all of our items. Hopefully, we can get back to the mole hole without dying, guys. <sighs> all right guys i need all of your freaking luck man hold your thumbs all of you i need forty thousand cyber dogs to hold their thumbs because we're about to go on a run of death all right one two three let's do this bam go 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 oh my god one more corner one more corner come on baby oh yeah come on oh yeah Whew. um i was just waiting for that sound of the gas spitting that beep <laughs> um, wow, that was a ho horrible impression of a gasp, but uh, you know, they are terrifying beings, man. It's difficult to make terrifying noises. Um, but man, I am so freaking stoked right now, man. This is so epic. Our gold nugget farm is, is working so beautifully. And our mob spawner back home, the butthole has been refurbished. It is also working very well. So everything in Rentopia is just, it's just going so well at the moment, man. And obviously next up, we are going to be working on... Um, Hey, there's a piggy in here. We're going to be working on uh, the, the on Mole City, which is awesome. Hey, doggy, what the hell? Hey, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Is this one of our dogs? Is this one of our... What the hell? 
Man, that is so weird. Oh, it is one of our do Dude, you are... What are you up to, man? Seriously. Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Man, this dog is being... Oh, man. This dog is going to get a smack on his on his bottom. <laughs> um, oh, listen to the butthole, man. The butthole is delivering beautifully. It was Rorschach. Come. Rorschach, you have been naughty. Here. You have been a naughty freaking dog, man. Sit. There you go. Okay, you can have some food. But I'm angry with your ass. I'm seriously angry with your ass, man. You could have died. You were really close to that giant thing of lava too, man. You freaking butthole. Man, seriously. These, these dogs, they just don't know what's good for them. Um, but guys, <laughs> we are now going to head up to the Dogolith because it has been a, a quite some time since I've added some of you guys to the Dogolith. So let's get that done um, right away. And then in the next episode, guys, I'm going to erect my new graveyard. And I think we're going to start working on the foundations for Mole City. I want to show you guys exactly where I want the monument to go. Uh, maybe we can get a view from up here. Kinda, kinda. It's going to go there <laughs> in that general direction. But uh, it's been a while since we've got a few of you guys on the Dogolith. So I wanted to come back here and get four of you guys on the Dogolith from YouTube subscribers. And four of you on the Dogolith from Dogcraft.net. So without further ado, my friends, let's get your asses onto the Dogolith. So first up, from... Let me just get my list here. From YouTube, we've got Maxibox. Welcome to the Dogolith Maxibox. We've also got Elastic Neon. Welcome to the Dogolith Neon. We've also got Ryan 7011 Dog. <laughs> Showing us you're part of the Cyber Dog Nation. That is freaking sweet, Ryan. And of course, we also have Ren Bobby. Nice. Welcome to the Dogolith Ren Bobby. And now from Dogcraft.net, guys, we've got Skyline Godzilla. Welcome at last to the Dogolith, my friend. We've also got best gaming videos ever way too long for the dogolith but you know who you are welcome to the dogolith and we've also got shugo sugar Sh sugo char chara lover <laughs> welcome to the dogolith and we've got mr jumping turtle welcome to the dogolith mr jumping turtle two oh we can't get the two in there so brand new entries to the dogolith there is the nether portal temple looking freaking sweet guys remember if you want to get your names on the dogolith you need to be a subscriber of this channel and you need to leave a constructive comment every now and then you can also be a member of the cyber dog fan site dogcraft.net there is a thread there where you can put your youtube username to stand a chance of being on the dogolith it's all random guys and if you get asked to put on the dogolith it won't happen you hear me your buttholes Guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft. If you enjoyed the video, you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to smack your ass. Just like I smacked my dog, man. Hmm. That sounded weird. Anyway, <laughs> guys, we will see you in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.